All right, today we've uh, added some new devices onto uh, our SLC circuit. We're going to um, plug those newly addressed devices into the fire panel, and then we're going to ask the panel to learn those devices into the system. And then from there, we're going to pull those devices out onto our computer and have a look at those. So down inside of our fire panel, we have our SLC circuit dummied out. What we're going to do is remove that dummy wiring. And here's our new set of wires we're going to plug in. Notice that the panel is in trouble. So our panel did go into trouble. We'll hit the check mark over here and we'll notice that there are some new devices found in the system. So in order for us to get those into the new system, what we'll do is we'll hit the menu button on the panel. We need to get our panel into programming, so we'll select Tools. And when we get into Tools, what we'll do is select Program. And from Program, what we'll have to do is enter in our password, followed by the check mark. When we're in programming, you can see that the programming light is on. And what we're going to do is go up and look at loops in SLCs. So we'll scroll up to loops in SLCs. And we're going to choose loop number one, hit the check mark on it. And you can see that you have some options here. We can view and edit, auto learn, calibrate, history, and meter. We're going to choose auto learn or the two button. And what the panel is going to do is go through every single possible address on the system, looking at those addresses to see if there is a valid response. When it gets to the end of the list, it'll give us a summation. It's found two smoke detectors. It's found a pull station. It's two NAC modules, which are these two new carbon monoxide detectors, and one other device, which will be the monitor module we added to the system. So over on our computer, we've clicked on the Start menu, and we're going to click on Dynamics Tools. And in Dynamics Tools, we're going to select the Configuration Tool. And when that opens up, we'll, we'll get the big Configuration Tool here. I'm going to minimize this down a little bit so that it's easier to see. And what we're going to do is click on in the upper left corner, the white piece of paper. And once we have done that, we're going to click on the USB cable and see if we can establish communications. When we do, we may see the uh, tablet computer, the fire panel, and the gray line with the green ball going back and forth. That is a confirmation that we do have communications. Our next step is that we're going to click on the word file. And this is the only time that you will see this is we're going to click on the word file and you'll see that there's an option here that says transfer from panel to PC. We shall select that. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask us to give it a name and whether it's a standalone panel, we'll just leave it as an AXCTL1C with a label. It is node number one because I have an enunciator on this system and I'll say okay. And at that point in time, you can see it's extracting all of that information out onto our computer. When it is done doing the extraction, it'll simply change from cancel here to the word done, and we'll click on the word done, and that will finalize us. And now we have that software on our laptop. So now that that information is out onto our laptop, I'm going to click on SLC circuit number one, and you'll see that there are a number of items that I auto learned into the system. And what I'm going to do is take a couple moments and give those some labels, and we'll be right back. Well, as you can see, I added those devices and I went in and gave them some labels. Uh, I'm going to go and alter the zone description from just SLC1 devices and call it first floor. But I've given them some labels, and once we've done that, we'll take a look and then see if there's anything else we have to do to the fire panel, and we'll push that information back into it. So to change the zone description, it's the upside down L or Tetris piece up here, the zone description. If I click on that, there's my SLC one. I can do is right click on it and do a quick edit and call it 
floor one devices. Now when I click save, that information will stay on those items. Okay, well, now we're going to do is a quick little check design of the system. I'm going to ask it to see if we've made any catastrophic mistakes. I have a sneaky suspicion. As it says here, everything looks okay. At this point, I can push this information back into the fire panel and things should work. Well, maybe not 100%, but should work properly. So I closed off the assistant screen. Now what I'm going to do is try to establish communications with the fire panel. And as you can see down below here, I have communications. And there's one other step that I need to do before I can take the information in here and put it into the fire panel is that I must put the fire panel in PC config mode. All right, we're over at the fire panel. And as I said, we need to put it in PC config mode. So we'll hit the menu, and what we're going to do is hit the escape button a couple of times because the last thing that we did was we auto-learned, and I'm looking for PC config. I don't see it on this menu, so I'll select the next menu. And when I select the menu, there it is there, so we'll highlight and hit the check mark on PC config, and what it'll come back and tell us that it's waiting the PC link, so that's ready. Now we're back at our computer again, and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to come to the second row of icons. The middle item has a blue arrow on top of a tablet computer, and I will do is click on that, and what's going to happen is it's going to ask me for my node number. This is node number one. The next node is number two, so I'm going to change it because I do know that this one is attached to a annunciator. I changed it to a two, and I will say OK. All that information now is going into the fire panel. So the bulk of that information has gone back in and it's double checking itself. It's saving the flash settings. When it's all done, again, that cancel will change to the word done and we simply click on the word done and it may ask us to save it. We're not going to save it at this point. But what we just did was took that information and we pushed it back into the fire panel. We came back over to our fire panel. It says it's still waiting for PC. And what we'll do is we'll hit the escape button three or four times. And we'll go up to exit. And at exit, we will enter in our password and get ourselves out of programming. Make sure you hit the check mark. And we can go to the status screen. And we can currently see that the fire panel is normal. So while looking at our pull station, I'm going to activate the pull station. And as I activate the pull station, we'll look at the fire panel. And as we can hear and see, the panel went into alarm. Some of the signals went off on the system, and there's our first floor devices, and it was the Parley pulse station that I activated. It says that it's a pulse station, and then it is in alarm. So I've just done a reset on the system, and that's a quick little wrap-up of how you auto-learn devices into the system. Uh, suck the brains out of the fire panel onto your computer. Manipulate some labels and stuff and then put that back into the fire panel in a quick little test. I hope you enjoyed this little video on how to do so. Uh, stop back, check on us often as we add other videos to our site. Thank you again and have a great day.